Hi everyone, it's me and welcome to my channel. It's the morning and I want my cup of coffee, so I'm gonna go downstairs real quick and then we're gonna come up here and then start the Bible study. I have never made such a pretty coffee. Beautiful. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've been going through some stuff and yes Just because I'm Christian and because I found my savior It doesn't mean that I'm never gonna have my own problems And it doesn't mean I'm never gonna go through things because you know, we live in a fallen world. I Was getting too consumed in worldly things and worldly matters. I was spending too much time just like depressed scrolling through social media when I should have been reading my Bible because I know if I would have just spent more time in it instead of scrolling through social media, this probably would have never happened. <laughs> and it's easy to get just distracted from your faith, from all these things you're worried about, work, school, friends, social media. And I noticed when I do get distracted, that's when the hard times come. But that's like God reminding me like, hey, knock, knock, I'm here. Pay attention to me. <laughs> and once I, recenter my focus to him everything around me changes i am just so thankful for god for my life and i don't want to be a selfish person i don't want to be consumed in myself and my own problems so i thought today would be a great day just to surrender my entire day to the lord i'm going to be doing a lot of fun activities with him and i'm hoping this video inspires you guys to do the same thing i got this idea from coffee and bible time i love their channel you should check it out anyways here i got my bible study markers these ones are like calligraphy these ones are highlighters bible journal where i do all my bible study stuff then my bible first i'm going to start by actually bible studying first i open up a study guide on blue letter bible this can give really good historical context. I'm gonna put on my noise canceling headphones because I know it can be really frustrating when you're like really in your word and then you just hear people like me and while I'm, I'm like, like what I'm reading a bible verse about how to control your temper and I'm like Ugh. <laughs> so you want to try to avoid that if possible and before you start even reading your bible one of the most important things is to pray and ask God to help guide you and just thanking God for giving me this Bible to be able to read because it is such a blessing. It sounds so weird once you take off headphones. I feel like I was trapped in a little box in my own little world, but now everything's like, whoa. <laughs> I Bible studied for two hours and 10 minutes. That did not feel that long. That went by really quickly. While I'm making my breakfast, I'm going to listen to a teaching on Revelation. Ah, uh, what a nice day it is outside, Bella. What a nice day, yes. Oh, big yawn. Sorry, these are not for you, honey. I'm just gonna say thanks to God and keep on listening to the history of Revelation. I'm taking Jax on a nice little walk and instead of just listening to like a podcast, I'm gonna listen to nothing because i'm always listening to something i'm just going to pay attention to nature and the birds chirping and i'm going to try and memorize some scripture while i walk be faithful unto death and he will give you the crown of life i just read it and it really stood out to me I haven't had cold brew in such a long time. This is a cold brew maker I got for Christmas. I technically got this for myself, 
because I got it as a white elephant gift and I ended up winning it. Whoa! Hi. I am a very artistic person. I used to make so many paintings, so many drawings, arts and crafts, but as I've gotten older, I always feel too busy. Today, since I'm taking a break and resting with the Lord, I'm going to make a Christian Bible verse board and use my artistic abilities that God gave me to use it to praise him. And I'm gonna just write all my favorite Bible verses and like listen to worship music, drink my cold brew, and it's gonna be great. Mwah. Okay, Google, play. Okay, good. This is what I have so far, and I ended up working on it for almost two hours. Every day, I'm going to color in one of the verses and meditate on that verse throughout the day. And then I'll be able to recite all of these verses because I'll just be saying them over and over and over again, and it'll be my daily Bible verses. I'm gonna make lunch now, and while I make lunch, I'm going to listen to a discussion of eschatology. I ate, and now it's time to dive deep into some apologetics. Apologetics is proving the Christian faith. It helps us show unbelievers evidence that Christianity is true. I really want to get good at this so I can then help others through my social media because I feel like that's what I'm called to do. So yeah, this is really important. This is my first apologetics book that I've read and I highly recommend it. It's called, I Don't Have Enough Faith to Be an Atheist. I already finished it on audiobook, but I liked it so much I ordered the book so I could then take notes in it. I'm gonna try it and read the whole entire book of Revelation in one sitting. While I was listening to the history of the book of Revelation, the teacher said that he highly recommends that everyone read the book from start to finish without stopping. You should just read it over and over and over again. I've never just read Revelation. I've always like just try and studied it and try and dissect every symbol and everything it's talking about. So I think this can be really helpful if I just sit down and read it. Whoa. I just read Revelation from front to back. A little under two hours. Oh my gosh, it's 8.21. Yeah, that makes sense. Reading Revelation front to back really puts things into perspective and gets me excited for the kingdom to come. However, I do have a lot of questions still. And now I'm just going to listen to some commentary on it. And again, when you guys listen to commentary, you gotta be careful and like, really just make sure they're good teachings and good teachers. Don't just take anyone's word for it. Make sure you check your Bible and make sure what they're saying aligns with scripture. I got my stars set up. And before I go to sleep, I'm going to do a little Bible devotional. It is almost 10 o'clock and wow this day went by really fast actually at the beginning i told you guys i've been going through a lot i've been having so much anxiety and i've been just really down and just worrying all the time i did not worry at all today about anything That just blows my mind. I have OCD and I obsess about thoughts in my head and I repeat them over and over and over until I stress myself out, have panic attacks, become depressed, and I just realized I, that didn't happen at all today. <laughs> but like, I've been dealing with anxiety my entire life. 
and I've been having a tough week with it. And today, I decided to give it to the Lord, and I literally didn't worry once. That just shows you how God will sustain you if you put your trust in Him, and He will give you freedom. <laughs> it just just amazing god is so good thank you guys so much for watching this video and i really really hope you guys give this a try good night I just wanted to say thank you so much Elevated Faith for sending me this sweatshirt. I love it so much. Jesus is King. It's so comfortable. And they also sent me this shirt, which says spread the good news. Here's the back. Thank you so much Elevated Faith. I love them. If you guys want to check out their website, the link will be in the description.